Good Tuesday morning, everybody. It is the 2nd of August, 2022. And we had a little bit of a storm come through last night that caused me a whole great deal of excitement. So stay tuned here and we'll show you what it was. Probably a good thing. I don't know who that dumbass is that is farming the neighbor's place over here at that house right there. Yeah, I don't know who that kid is that's doing that. But the dumbass come in here with his little skid steer contraption over there, moved a bunch of dirt and shit down here in the corner. Then he proceeded to set fire to it. Yes, he did. Well, that's fine and dandy on a day when the wind's blowing out straight out of the west or east, maybe, but we got this storm coming. We got winds bumping around 40 miles an hour. And all that hot ash and soot was on fire coming over into my place. So guess who had to jump up out with a garden hose and run over here and put that shit out? Yeah, I'd like to find that knucklehead and let him have a piece of my mind. One, when you got a storm coming, you don't set fire to anything because that fire is going to blow, okay? And then, two, <laughs> with drought conditions going on, wheat fields all around him, green fields all around him, you don't start a fire because of the drifting ash and soot and embers. It's going to set something major on fire. This idiot's lucky I was home and had a damn garden hose or I'd have lost my place. First off, I must apologize for my language that I used in that little bit of the video. Um, yeah, I was very upset last night over something that had happened here, not on the farm, but across the street from the farm that could have affected the farm in a major, major way. I'm going to attempt my best to giving you a chronological order in which things happened yesterday regarding the fire across the street. The fellow that is farming all of this property here for the neighbor that lives there came in with his little skid steer contraption yesterday, moved a bunch of dirt and rock and rubble right here on the intersection here at the corner. Then he proceeded to set fire to the weeds, which is a common practice in keeping irrigation water ditches clean. Well, not only was burning the ditch that is over there, it also set fire to the roadside and started burning down along the roadside. This was going on while I was editing the video that I uploaded Monday afternoon. Um, yeah, I was sitting at my desk, looked out the window, and couldn't see the end of the sidewalk because of the smoke drifting across uh, to my place. And I could smell the smoke. Uh, I figured there was a rangeland fire up in the mountains or something. Didn't realize at first it was right directly across the street from my house. I ran out and grabbed the garden hose with that nozzle on the end of it and proceeded to drag the whole mess across over the, through the driveway to the other side of the road. By then, the fire had burned down to here. At that time, I proceeded to liberally douse the actively burning flames, got them put out, and was working my way back, hitting the hot spots that were directly south of the house. Now keep in mind, we normally get winds out of that direction, which is the west-southwest from where I'm standing. So that wind yesterday, actually, was coming directly out of the south this way, uh, heading right towards us. So all of that fire that was burning right along in here, all those hot embers and ashes and burning uh, organic matter were coming straight over here to the farm. Now about the time I had the fire 
contained uh, somebody, not myself or my neighbor, because my neighbor didn't even know what was going on, had called the fire department, had called 911. Anyway, I had the fire what I considered out about then, wrapped up all my hoses, put them back over here by the well where you just saw them, jumped in the truck and went to town to get me something cold to drink to wash down all the soot and ash and the smoke that I'd been inhaling. After leaving here at the farm, I went over to talk to the neighbor about their hired guy that about burned down the place. They were sound asleep, watching TV, whatever, didn't know anything was going on over here on this side of their property. They said they'd contact the young guy, and the lady couldn't believe that the young guy had set fire to anything, what with the wind and the storm and everything, lightning, thunder, because he was a volunteer fireman. So after I chatted with the uh, neighbor for a minute or two about what was going on, I headed uptown to the local gas station where I get my bubbly refreshments. Well, as I pulled in there, here comes the fire truck. The guys pull up, jump out, and we proceed to have a conversation. Apparently, somebody had seen me across the street in all the fire, flame, and smoke, whatever, with the garden hose trying to put out the fire. They called 911 as they passed by. So when I got to the gas station and the fire truck pulled up, I asked the guys how their day was going. They said, well, we were heading to a fire, but the guy that... Uh, had started it, called us and told us it was him and it wasn't a big deal and he was taking care of it. I proceeded to contradict that story very forcefully. I let the firemen know from the rural fire district that takes care of this area that one of their own had started a fire and had left the scene and was no longer taking care of the fire. They're the ones that told me somebody had called it in to 911 that there was a fire. They are the ones that told me that that particular truck they crawled out of had been dispatched to come out here to the fire. They're the ones that told me that the kid that's farming the place across over here heard the dispatch, called into the station, and told them not to worry about it. He was taking care of it. It was under control, etc., so forth and so on. When in actuality, he wasn't even here. I let the fire department guys know that. And then I let them know that it was one of their own that had done it. And in the process of the conversation, they also proceeded to tell me that they all had had a big conversation just yesterday morning about a red flag condition for the area, meaning no open fires, period. Well, guess what? That knothead didn't listen, didn't care, come out here and set a fire anyway. Anyway, the wind's picking up again. We got another storm coming in, hitting us this afternoon. I filed a formal complaint about said individual with the fire department. The guys were astounded that this kid had actually done that. So, yeah, I don't know what'll happen to him. Don't really care, but. That's uncalled for, especially with all the wheat and straw that is still around this area, not to mention my dry weeds, which could have been a potential absolute disaster for this farm or the neighboring farms. That's going to wrap it up for things that are going on around the farm for today. Uh, we got some more videos coming to you in the works, so stay tuned for those. As always, don't forget right down there, click on the subscribe button if you would. It means a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep these videos coming to you. Hopefully we'll keep them short and sweet. Anyway, I'm Farmer Dave. Y'all have a good one. We'll catch up with you later. Bye-bye now.